So this question is a diagram question. We have this dot plot provided here. So anything visual, any question that provides some visual data, I usually call a diagram question. So how will we read this, this dot plot? So we have data set A, of course. It looks like data set A has one, two, three, four, five, twenty twos in it. One, two, three, four, twenty threes, three, twenty fours, two, twenty fives, and just one, twenty six is how I would read that. The question goes on to explain that the dot plot represents the fifteen values in data set A. Data set B, which obviously is not shown here, is created by adding fifty six to each of the values in the data in data set A. All right, so then data set B would look just like data set A, except 22 will become 78, but I'd still have one, two, three, four, five of those. Um, and then 23 would become 79, right? And then 80 and 81 and 82. And there was, again, one there, two here, three there, and one, two, three, four there. The question goes on to say which of the following correctly compares the medians and the ranges of data sets A and B. So the medians, um, first of all, let's figure out what the median of data set A, well, let's see, if we're just comparing, obviously the median value is going to be greater for data set B than it is for data set A because all the data points in data set B are all, right, 56 um, 56 greater than data set A. So let's check that out first. So question A or answer choice A says the median of data set B is equal to the median of data set A. Definitely not. Choice B, the median of data set B is equal. Definitely not. Um, C, the median of, of data set B is greater. That's good. And D also says the median of data set B is greater. So that part is good. The other thing we care about is the range. Right, so the range is always just from the smallest value to the largest value. So the range, um, I get, okay, so our values are different, but the range itself will actually be the same. Because, right, our range is from 22 to 26 here, so it's a range of four values, of four data points, because that's the difference between these two things. There's four data points between 22 and 26. And the same thing would happen here between 78 and 82, right? So although our range has different starting and ending points, it's still four um, away, or a distance of four between, I should say. So choice C tells us that the range of data set B is equal to the range of data set A, which I think is the correct answer. Choice D says the range of data set B is greater than the range of data set A, which I think is not the correct answer. So choice C here is the best answer.